Hi everyone, this is Shazzy B. Welcome to my channel. As always, a special thank you and welcome to all of my subscribers, both old and new. I appreciate your continued support of my channel. Today's video is a tag. I was tagged by 76 Naturalista for the You Loved It, She Hated It tag. And that tag is about products that just did not work for my hair. Uh, for this tag, before I get started, I would like to tag Pretty Unique Hair, Miss Cassie 7321, Rita Mae June, and Cassie African Queen to do this tag if you haven't done it already or if someone didn't tag you already. Uh, so let me tell you, I only have three products, so my tag will be very short. Uh, the first product uh, I told you guys about in one of the videos that I did previously, well, one of them I did a review on. Uh, and the first one that I told you about uh, in one of my previous videos is uh, the Hello Hydrations Conditioner that I used on my hair. And the reason that it did not work for my hair is because I ended up with a lot of my hair coming out in clumps, the clumps of curls coming out. Uh, so because of that, I threw away the bottle that I was using, gave away all the others that I bought. And I just never bought anything from the company again just because of that bad experience with that product. Uh, so that was, um, you know, that's my number one product. I just will never, ever touch that with anything ever again. Uh, the next product is um, the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. And that product is a great product. A lot of people love it. And it imparted some good uh, benefits for my hair. It had great slip, and that's the number one thing. And it did, did uh, cleanse my hair quite well. The problem with that product for me is uh, it has to do with the formulation of the product uh, as far as the inclusion of the polycortinum uh, in it that doesn't really work well for my hair. It was only polycortinum 7, but for some reason, their formulation, I guess how the product was made and how much maybe that they used in it, it just didn't work for me, so I did have some breakage from it. Not a lot of breakage, but it was more than my normal hair loss on a wash day. And when I have more hair loss than normal with any product, I never use the product again. So I never repurchased it, and I threw the rest of it out. Uh, the third product that um, did not work for my hair, the third product, I'm sorry, the third product that did not work for my hair in the way that it was supposed to be used uh, is the Cantu Shea Butter uh, Leave-In uh, Conditioner. And I experienced a lot of hardness um, on my hair with that product and a lot of dryness to my hair. And uh, I looked at the ingredients. It has a massive amount of ingredients. And uh, it has uh, silicones, it has some protein, and it has uh, aloe vera juice in it. And I couldn't figure out what was it in the product that made my hair feel so dry and so hard. And, you know, all the different things that I experienced with it. And so I've had a love-hate relationship with the product over the years. I've bought several bottles of it, and I would try it and then give it away uh, to my friends or a family member who liked the product. And um, so uh, that's my number three product. But I'll do a review of the Cantu Shea Butter because I finally figured out uh, the best way to use it. So that product is sort of redeemed for me. Uh, because I figured out a way to use it successfully. So I'll share that with you when I do the product review of that con uh, leave-in conditioner. But those are the three products that didn't work well for my hair. And, uh, you know, they're on the top of the list for me on the you loved it, she hated it, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, panel. <laughs> uh, but for me, those are the three. All right, thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day and take care of yourselves and stay well. Bye.